What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step run-through. Today, we're going to show you how to take your site page and turn it into a template so you can use it over and over and over again. Stay tuned! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get the timer, let's knock it out, y'all. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the page we like, we wanna reproduce. Here's the one I wanna reproduce. We're gonna pop into edit mode. And in edit mode, we're gonna go right on over here to save as draft, but hit the little arrow next to it, save as template, okay? Then it's gonna ask you to name the template. And we're just gonna call it uh, most awesome template ever. And then we're gonna save page as template. And then ba-bam, we are done. We did it, we saved it as a template. Now, if you wanna stick around to see how we're gonna use the template and to see a step-by-step -step of how we just did that just to slow it down and give explanation, then stick around. Now, before we do that though, I wanna give a quick shout out to everyone watching, all of the people who've watched all the videos in the past, liked and subscribed and hit that bell notification. If you haven't, go ahead and do that right now so you can know as soon as new content is available. Appreciate you. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. Let's let's breathe. Basically, we just took any page except for a home page. I don't believe you're able to actually uh, save like a uh, communication site home page as a template. I tried, it didn't work. Uh, if anyone sees a way to do that, let me know. But it's just a regular page. So I went to my pages library here and we have um, the Carolina Mike FAQ, okay? So that was the page that I wanted to use as my template and so all I have to do is just go right into edit mode and I can do this on any page again except for the home page let's go back to pages library and we'll grab another one so add image to text box this is a demo page I have no idea what's going on here but maybe I want to I like the look and feel and I want to use this by the way do not enjoy this header type situation but anyway uh, we click edit and then instead of saving it as a draft we're gonna hit the drop down right next to save as draft and we can save as a template. And from there, it's gonna ask you to name the template. You name it and then it will do some things in the background. So uh, I'm gonna discard these changes. Let me show you what happens in the background. So every modern site has a site pages library. Uh, if you haven't messed with the nav, there's gonna be a link to it in the nav. Uh, if you wanted to go right to it, you can go to site contents and you can find it site just had it it's site pages it's set uh yeah it's down here so here's the site pages library and if you haven't saved any templates then you're not going to see this little area or this folder called templates you'll have the home page because that gets created when you build the site but after you save your first template sharepoint's going to automatically create a templates folder for you in the site pages library so if you want to modify your templates or do anything with your templates this is how you get to them and then here you go there's the template that i just made okay now that's so it has to have a place to store it right now you might be asking well how do i use the template well pretty straightforward we're just going to go to the home page we're going to hit the new page and then we'll see all of our saved templates right here in the saved on this site area hit the triple dots what do we got set default selection go to template delete from site so there you go let's play with this set default by setting the default selection you're going you are going to what I'm okay, I'm gonna by setting the default selection, you are going change the way how the users can view this page. Okay, we're gonna changing default changing changing the default like a template changes it for all users of this site. Continue. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna say no here. I'm gonna research that and come back with another video because I don't want to mess up stuff. All right, so <laughs> you want to create a site based off of this template. You select it, and then you're going to go create page. Ooh, there's an update. I knew this update was coming, uh, and we can talk about it. Now I can create as a private draft. What that means is, let's say I have other people who have um, edit access to pages. Basically, your members have edit access to pages, um, and they have access to a library, uh, and they can... Pretty sure they can save templates and all that jazz. But um, if you want to create a page and keep it so that your other members cannot see it until you're ready for them to see it, then you can create it as a private draft. 
let's see what the info says this draft visible only to you and the people you share it with so i can share it with other members of the site if i want to or people who have edit access who can who have edit access to the site pages library okay i digress so we'll go ahead and create the page and it's working on it and there you go so you will probably want to like you know remove some of the info Maybe put some brackets around saying, you know, this is where you would put this or that um, to help fo guide folks along. But otherwise, this tells you exactly how you can basically burn a copy of a page to infinity. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Remember, do the best you can with what you got. And as always, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.